most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shop, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Here we are, the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. He's Brad thinks he is. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to treat neck pain that just started. So it's a recent onset. Uh. So th these are just some guidelines. Uh, it may not pertain to your neck, but in most cases it does. Yeah, so, so we got nine of them. Are yeah, nine, nine recommendations here. Uh, number one, with the onset of neck pain, it's important for you to obtain and maintain good neck and head posture throughout the day. So what we're saying is we don't want to see, you want to show it that way, Brad? Sure. We don't want to see your neck forward head, which is very common. We don't want to see your head down all the day, all day long. <laughs> Got to talk. Um, if you're looking at me now, a lot of people are in the habit, I'm one of them, when I w write notes, I have my head tilted one way. I always tilt my head to that way, and I started developing problems. Probably happened after that movie Forrest Gump, because that's, that's right. where his son sat when he yep. watched TV. So anyways. Actually, I tilt this way, and so to correct it, I actually have to do a chin duck and tilt this way. Oh, I see. So you do the opposite. Right. Mm -hmm. So note those posi positions as you go throughout the day. you got to allow the neck to heal. The only way it's going to heal very well is if it's in a aligned position. So if you're looking at Brad, the ears are up over the shoulders. They're lined up with the shoulders. The chin's back. He, yep. And he's in a good position. So we call this the neutral position or good posture. Yep. So you got to uh, uh, try to obtain that. Right. Okay, next thing. Don't crack your neck with sudden movements. Uh, <laughs> I know a lot of you are tempted to do that. It feels better. It gives you a little bit of relief for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. But in the long run, it, it really is not helping. Um, you know, some people also like to roll their neck. Just, I want you to do chin tucks is one thing you can do. And you can even do it with a little overpressure. Oh, I just got a little bitty baby yeah. crack. And I felt That's good. all you need. Yeah. You know, a little overpressure. Yeah. So, yeah, you're not putting yeah, yeah. a lot of force into it. It's just gentle. And w if you uh, skip it down to number nine, do you oh. actually, you, you you know, if this is video is a part of a series of videos on sure. neck pain. We'll talk about that at the end, Brad. But we have another video that shows you the exercises you should be doing. Right. right. So um, uh, we talked about you may need to adjust your computer screen or keyboard because that's going to cause you to have your head down if it's too low. Yep. So if you have a laptop, what you're going to want to do with the laptop, you're going to want to put the screen up higher and you're going to have a separate keyboard. There's right. just no way around it. You yeah. can't work on a laptop and have good posture. It's just impossible. Yeah. Either that or stand up, and if you have a raise, a table that raises, but a lot of people do not have those. Well, yet. even if it raises up, you still have to go to the well, keyboard. Well, yeah, that's an issue. So it's still <laughs> yep. a separate keyboard. Um, when you're lying in bed, avoid excessive pillows uh, or on the couch. Do you mind, Brett, if I oh, just no. flip around here? Because a lot of people... They're, especially if you're watching TV, they, they're like this. Yes. And you... I experienced this on yeah, the couch. Yeah, I experienced it. So did my wife. I thought my head was in neutral, and I'm watching this movie and forgot about it, of course, and the next day I had to source neck. You paid the price for that a couple a days. number of days, yeah. Yeah. So when you're lying on your back, you actually want to try to get by with one thin pillow. Now, if you're on your side, and especially if you have wide shoulders... You're going to be like that, so you're going to have two pillows. Yeah. So you got to have pillows. Yep, you got to have pillows, and you got to have <laughs> the right amount of pillows. Um, you also want to avoid sleeping on your stomach when in bed because when you're on your stomach, you're going to have your head turned all the way to one direction, either to the right or to the left, and the neck does not like that. The joints don't like to be at end range. So I... I I would say if you're if you do it as a habit, you could do it for a little while, you know, for maybe ten minutes, right, twenty minutes. Right. Yeah. You don't want to be there for long periods of time. Yeah, I think all night people long. that do sleep on their stomach, I have a feeling they turn their head right to left without being aware of it. Possibly. Yeah. I don't know. If you're if you're not having any neck pain, um, maybe you can get away with it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I knew a stomach sleeper that. Yeah. Yeah. But. I think as you get older, that becomes more and more of a more of an issue. issue. Yeah. And if you're having headaches from the back of the head, mm. that might be from sleeping that way. Sure. So keep that in mind. Um, 
you also want to be very careful when you're driving. Um, Brad, if you could show how you don't want to drive with the seat kind of uh, inclined too right, far so, back. Yeah. Yeah. Because look what's going to happen. He's going to, yeah, he's going to move his head forward to compensate yeah. for that. So you want yeah, the I'm seat. I'm holding on to the steering wheel. Yeah. Yeah. You want <laughs> the seat fairly upright. Yeah. You guys are usually a little lever to, oh, sometimes they're electric, sometimes they're yeah. manual, but get it not perfectly upright necessarily, but right. pretty darn, you know, where it feels comfortable, you're upright. It's easy to keep that head in that neutral yeah. position then. So, um, as with most injuries, um, you might try, if it's a, a recent onset, you might try an ice pack for pain control mm -hmm. for the first 24 to 48 hours. Um, there's been some controversy on that now. Mm. Some people say not to use ice anymore. Anyway, after 24 to 48 hours, you might try a heating pad. Sure. And mm -hmm. you can see, you know, what's effective for you. Maybe ice does work for you, and maybe heating is better for you. Right. You do what, listen to your body. It'll tell you. So wh what we alluded to before, this video is a part of a series of videos on treating neck pain. And if you want to see the entire series, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the program section, and you'll find one on neck pain. There's one on sciatica, too, and and massage and knee and hip. tens units some of them aren't up yet so we're working on it and it's it says if we're in progress on getting them so yeah. click on that you're going to see a whole list of videos on the neck one we have maybe 30 videos look at the titles see which title pertains to the question you have watch the video and the bonus is you click on the pdf printout and it'll print out a review of the whole video with the exercises so you don't have to go back and look at it the whole thing is absolutely free not even an email is asked yeah if you. somebody asks for your credit card that's not us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you uh, do the old uh, switcheroo and yeah. get them off your channel. So we're, uh, uh, we don't, you said not even email, right? Did I say that, Mike? I think you did. Yeah, he's, yeah. Yeah, so he's on the ball. Yeah, there you go. All right, so Enjoy. check it out. Keep your neck healthy. Yep.